loves, so today's video for the transition with me is a DIY inspiration board. Just thought I would do this because it's so creative. It's pretty much the same price as a cork board or a whiteboard in stores. So yeah, thanks guys for watching. Follow me on all my social network and yeah, stay tuned for the video. So the first thing I got was the frame, um, which is actually an old picture frame my sister's boyfriend's mom gave me, and um, a cork board which I purchased from Home Depot for $17, a brush for $2, glue from Home Depot for about, I think it was like $5, and paint which I found in my house which was also from Home Depot, just white paint because that's what I preferred to use. Um, I got spray paint from Walmart which was horrible I just need to show this so you guys can see this one is the one to get <laughs> and you'll see why later and push pins from staples which is from the Kate Spade collection I believe so the first step we're gonna do is painting so with the brush um, I just got a pan tray from the dollar store literally like a dollar fifty or something like that um, and I placed the paint in there and I'm just using latex gloves as well because it is a mess. My sister never uses gloves or protection or anything and there's just paint in her hair and her fingers. I just wanted to save myself the trouble. <laughs> so we're just going to paint evenly. Um, in this, at this point, I would recommend also getting a um, stick. I used a ruler I found in my basement, but just so you can um, mix the paint and apply and um, just evenly brushing it throughout the cork board which really absorbed the paint. I was so surprised. I was contemplating between spray paint and paint so I was really really happy with the results. As you can tell that was coat number one. Um, it is quite uneven and you can still see the cork board underneath which I hate. So I went ahead and did three coats. Um, when you're letting it dry, you'll notice the paint kind of bubbles up. Uh, don't be nervous. I was so scared and I woke up the next day and the little bubbles were gone. It just was flayed, or sorry, laid flat and even. So just keep that in mind when you are painting it. And yeah, just let it sit and dry and this will be what your finished result of the cork board looks like. And I just wanted to show a snippet because I didn't show the spray paint. This is what it looked like with the Walmart paint. It was horrible. Uh, so I went over with the other um, linoleum, linoleum, whatever it's called. Um, anyway, so I'm going to use the glue that I got from Home Depot. And I'm just evenly distributing it along um, where the frame sat before. Because that's where I want the cork board to sit. And I'm just placing a nice even... Um, the mount, you don't really need to use a lot, but a little really goes a long way. That's what the Home Depot guy told me at least, and he said it really does bind it because um, I was contemplating um, between glue and nails, and if you know me, I don't like glue. I don't like using glue. I like security for longevity, uh, so we'll see how long this lasts. And I'm just going to place the cork board there. It took some time to snap in. I don't know if the paint expanded the cork board a little bit, but it was kind of annoying. <laughs> And also, Home Depot kind of gyps you with the cork size, so by like a quarter of an inch or something like that, it was too small. So the guy from Home Depot just gave me a free little piece of wood, as you can see that I'm applying in the crevice, um, just so it sits evenly, you know? I didn't want any gaps or anything appearing when I flipped over the whole cork board. I definitely would recommend having a hammer in place just in case your cork board ends up kind of um, small, you know, gypsed from Home Depot. Um, or if you just need to fit the cork in properly, just gently tap it into place. Literally, you don't need to do much. Um, it wasn't kind of jimmying in there. Like I said, I don't know if the wood expanded, but um, eventually it worked. And so this is what it'll end up looking like, but you want to clean up where the glue oozed onto the opposite side. The glue does dry yellow, and I really wanted that white cork board. So I went ahead and got a paper towel and started to dry it up. But please, please, please remember to use a damp cloth. Here I'm using a dry one, and I'm struggling. And eventually you'll see, I think at this point, it's wet. So now it's just seamlessly coming off and just really, really gliding off of the... Um, the frame without taking any spray paint with it. So you really want to quickly go ahead and finish this process because the glue does dry rather quickly and you do need to clamp it in place otherwise it'll dry kind of um, 
in a concave shape and you really want it to be flat so I went ahead and got whatever large objects I could find close to me quickly and just place them in each corner literally a printer a box full of paper um, glassware and yeah I let it sit overnight and the finished product I was so so happy with this honestly when I was shopping around just for the cork board I noticed how the larger size you got the more expensive so you can get something like this with simple wood in staples for literally like $35 and I'd rather have had $35 and spent it on a custom piece and this is original and I'll always have this and it's just I look at it and I feel inspiration so now it's just time to fill it up thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for some more videos